Hi everyone and welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. Today I'm really excited to share some nice information about lilac Frenchies with you guys. How to determine if your puppy is a lilac or the one that you're looking to adopt is a lilac. We're going to go into the different color combinations that lilacs have and different ways that you can for sure know that your puppy is a lilac so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Before you guys get into the content hit that uh, subscribe button or press the give this video a like before I smash something here but definitely appreciate you guys being honest and let's get right into it. All right, first off guys, we're gonna get into the different color combinations you need to have to have in order to produce a lilac puppy. The first one, and I'm gonna make these big, is little d, little d. So these are two lowercase d's. That means that you have a blue puppy for sure. So if you have a puppy, obviously it's gonna get one from dad here and one from mom they're gonna pass on their different color um, genetics here. So this puppy got little d, little d, that for sure means it is a blue. Next, um, the, there's, again, there's two different, a couple of different color, color combinations to make lilac. The next thing that you have to have, you have to have little d, little d to have and be in lilac, but then you either need this, which is little co, right there, which is chocolate, and there's two different types of chocolate. So little d, little d, and little co, little co, that for sure gives you a lilac. Then also, you need little d, little d, which is blue again. And then it would be little b, little b, which is chocolate. And this is another variation of lilac. It's a more rare variation. This is called Isabella. So that's a little bit more rare. So again, little d, little d, little co, little co, gets you lilac. And another form of Isabella is, or lilac is Isabella, little d, little d, little b, little b. A lot more rare than this right here. See it, little co, little co is a lot more common for chocolate than the little b, little b. Another combination you can get, because you could these puppies could have, let's just say it could have little co and big co, well that doesn't count as um, chocolate. But if a puppy did have, make this bigger, little d, little d, little b, little b, and also little c, or little co, little co, this is a very rare, different kind right here. That's called new shade. So if your puppy had little d, little d, little b, little b, little co, little co, that's a, definitely a more rare, um, different um, puppy, Frenchie, uh, not common at all. So definitely a really, really good color DNA pup, so. Hopefully that explains the different genetics as far as what for sure gives you lilac. Have to have the, these. And the best way to make sure or to check if your puppy does have is lilac is to definitely do a genetic test. You can do Embark, UC Davies, um, other ones like that. Um, if you don't do a genetic test, you're gonna wanna first see if the parents are, if, they're if the parents are both lilac, then you know, then you can say, yeah, this puppy is lilac. Or if there's a little red tint and the puppy is blue. Um, you can see what red tint in the eyes, then that would also determine that it's a lilac. But the best way is just to do color testing for sure. Now I'm gonna share with you kind of, let's say we have um, two different um, parents and share with you what those colors would produce. So, you know, how can, say you have a mom and a dad, you have their color genetics and you're gonna determine whether or not that this puppy or what kind of pup puppies they're gonna have. So. Um, this parent that we have on the board here, we have the mom, who is little d, or let's see, she'll be little d, little d, and then she is, she's the one on the top here, she's little d, little d, and she is co, little co, little co, so she for sure is a lilac. Then we have the dad, 
who is Big D, Little D, and then Big CO, and Little CO. So he is not chocolate or um, or lilac or blue for that matter. So this here is the dad. This the, these colors are here, and then these are the mom. So let's go ahead and write these in here. Let's fill these out. So. And this will determine what percentage of lilacs you're going to have. So if you do have these written on each board, on the boards here, so this is the dad. This is the dad. And then this here is the mom going down. So this would be a little big D, little D. I'll write it nicer than that. Alrighty. So big D. Little D, big D, little D, then you got two little D's, little D, and you got also little D, little D. So this mom and dad, they're gonna have a 50% of producing blue puppies. Because we have two little D's, two little D's compared to two big D, a big D little D and a big D little D. So they're per 50% of passing down the dilute little d little d which you're which you need to make a lilac all right so let's go down to the chocolate color combination and it's going to be the same thing big co little co big co little co i'm talking about two little co's two little co's so this mom and dad com um, parent combination should produce 50 percent lilacs 50 percent lilacs and um potentially could have some chocolates um you could have potentially some blues uh, but there potentially could be um others as well but for sure 50 percent chance of lilacs based on these two combinations of blue and chocolate so hopefully that helped you guys understand a little bit of or for sure what makes a lilac Frenchie by going over the different color genetics and uh, definitely I would recommend getting your parents color tested before you breed them um, just to help understand you know is this mom and dad gonna be the best combination in order to have the best types of colors produced um, for your puppies so thanks guys for watching hopefully we'll be doing more um, informative videos like this to help you guys maybe that are new into the breeding world um, and to help uh, you understand the color genetics we do actually have some lilacs that we do have puppies color tested and they are genetic free on our website at Woodland Frenchies right now. There was Gemini, I think Gavin is still available um, that we color tested and DNA tested specifically. Um, so definitely check them out, they're beautiful pups. And uh, once you go on our website at Woodland Frenchies, um, give us a call. Um, thanks guys, appreciate your time and hope to see you some more.